I've been playing ball all my life, really. You know what I'm saying? Grew up playing in the streets of Detroit, a lot of playground ball with neighborhood friends and all that, you know. And that's when I really figured out, like, that's what I really wanted to do with life, you know. I wasn't always really tall. I had a growth spurt around the summer of eighth grade. I shot from, like, 6'2 to 6'7, so that's when I really started taking it serious and all that, you know. I realized that around, when I was like in the 10th grade, I was a sophomore in high school. And, and I remember walking to school and I, and I walked into school and the athletic director was like, come here, you know, you know your name in the paper, right? And I'm like, for what? And he's like, they, uh, they talking about you as uh, one of the sophomores to watch for this season. And I'm like, oh really? And that's when it really hit me like, yeah, they watching, I gotta start really working. And that's when I started really putting in the hours in the gym. And, you know, two a day, sometimes three a day, just going hard at it, just trying to make sure I'm prepared and ready for, for whatever comes in the game. I've been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? I started off playing ball at, at, at Providence College as a freshman when I came out of high school, you know. I went up there, I took it for granted, really, you know what I'm saying? I was just out there partying, you know, trying to live that life, you know what I'm saying? Out there chasing girls, out there partying, drinking and all this, and I lost track of what my main goal was when I was there, you know, so I stopped doing all the stuff that got me there, you know what I'm saying? I stopped doing everything, you know what I'm saying? I stopped working hard and just tasting the life. Then when I left there, I went to University of Detroit, you know what I'm saying, set out of here. And I just got better, I focused on myself, you know what I'm saying? I got bigger, stronger, better on the basketball court, and then from there, I went to uh, junior college, Henry Ford Community College. You know, then that's when I got back on the court, got back to playing and all that. You know, I averaged like 16 points, 12 rebounds, five blocks. Then I earned another scholarship to Eastern Michigan. And then I played there for a couple of games and all that. And then the, uh, the trouble that I got into at Providence College, it ended up catching back up to me. So I had to, you know what I'm saying, sit out for, an, uh, for about 18 months, sit out. And then I came back to Pikeville. That's when Pikeville contacted me and that's how I ended up out here. So I just really wanted to take this opportunity to get back to the court, get back to doing what I was doing, get back to me. I mean, I just want to really reach out to all the, the young freshmen out there in college right now, man, that's, that's trying to get to where they're going. I just want to let them know, the man, to stay focused, because you know what I'm saying, they ain't going to be there forever. You can have everything one day, then wake up, it'll be all gone, you know, and you'll be trying to fight your way to get back to it, you know what I'm saying? That's, it's basically what I've been doing, but somebody had to go through it so I could tell, you know what I'm saying, the people that's coming up how to how to get through it, you know. Somebody had to do it, so it was me, so there I am.